so we had an airman. Um, oh, shit. Yeah. Uh, the same Pearl, one. No. Why Pearl, you gotta ruin Pearl, our Pearl, fun time? Pearl, stop. Um, do we have all of us in here? Yeah. I can't see it. Yeah, yeah. That's We're all me. In. Wave your hand. Uh, yep, you're there. <laughs> yep, he's here. We had we had our furry co-host issue. It's fine. We're good. Why does she keep going under the tripods? Because she sees Bo Duke go under there, and she's like, <laughs> "I'm just as tiny. You're a female. You're feminine, but you are not that tiny." Honestly, mm. we've had such a great, like, high energy podcast. I really don't want to talk about the center. Like, this is kind of like, this is such a no. I want to talk on it because it's the same as the acorn cop. Yeah, and is realistically, it, it is. It's the same. It, no, it's it's the same precinct. Like, oh. it is. yeah, no, it's the same precinct as the acorn cop. Yep. So I want to touch the on it. Man got shot though. Oh, but I, I want to touch okay. on specifically Dod wise because he is a very a high speed airman in the sense of he's doing a mission for pretty much air combat command. He's part of an airlift squadron. But the biggest issue, and I could see why civil rights came into all of this. Yeah. Because when he, because they banged on the door, he's on FaceTime with his side piece, his girlfriend, whatever yeah, it's, it's, it is. He's on, he's on with his girl and they banged on the door and he's like, he looks out the he window. He looks out the window, and there's and no don't one. See nothing. Nobody said anything. And so he does what any of us would was have he done. swatted? He was swatted. So You've got to be. He grabbed his reason. gun, and what? the Hold best. On. Go ahead. What swatting? Swatting is like, <sighs> it's where somebody calls in a fake. Uh, they call in to the police a fake issue, uh, like bomb, like, like you're threatening to. To go and do something, do harm I, to somebody or something like that. I would think it would like be that. swatting if the the actual announcement that came out if, wasn't. If, for instance, oh, we hit the wrong house. Yeah, but they're not gonna. They're not going to. Well, no, admit agreed. That. Agreed. They're not going to actually admit it. But somehow, but it's not that they're within the wrong eight house, hours. In I, eight hours, they pushed the cop on administrative leave because the cop was wrong, and the whole administration knew they were wrong. But here's the thing. So what swatting is, is I'm at my house and I call on a cell phone or pay phone or whatever. And I say, oh, my God. Keep her, uh, keep her threatened to, to come over and kill me. And, you know, he, he said this X, Y and Z. It wouldn't be and, the first time. <laughs> and, and so then, you know, Bear County might come over and kick his door in and put him down on the ground, rifles to his head, and arrest him until they figure out the facts of the case. In the meantime, if he does anything out of the ordinary or that could to, could spook the cop, cop can fire. They have full right to shoot him. Technically. But cops are using this, abusing this ability or authority, and they're, they're killing young, innocent black individuals. What's well, well, not even black individuals. individuals. It's anyone other than white. Okay. It's so realistically where it's been in the past of, but, but going, going back to this airman, they they banged on the door. He checked the window. There was he no did, one. He did what any of us would have done, and he went and grabbed his pistol. Well, first, he checked the scene. He checked the scene. There was no one outside. He was like, I'm going to grab my, my sidearm. And he's still talking to his girlfriend or his girl. Yeah. In the video that's on Reddit, was it holstered? No, he was holding his hand. Yeah, it was. It wasn't even pointing it up. Two seconds. We're talking about two seconds on the video footage from the cop feed. Two seconds. They gunned him down dirty. Yeah, like Trayvon Martin had multiple. I think he, this airman, no. has more than more than Trayvon Martin. Yeah. They put him down with haste. Yeah. I mean, and then they're like, "Oh, we it's got the, wrong, the house. wrong house." So, listen, cops, you have to stop getting the wrong fucking house. It's not even the wrong fucking house. It look, oh my god, touch it. Let's go. All the conspiracy, all the conspiracy theorists are gonna get out here and they're gonna jump your shit. 
and and rightfully so, because this is happening way too much. It isn't a coinkydink that they're hitting the wrong house every time. Well, that is what they're. That is the go-to lingo of, oh, I fucked up. Well, and how how just, often how often are cops going out and having to swap places, and it's uh, happening okay, less so, frequently. So they're they're going out and they're swatting places, and then they're. Like, how often are they swatting places as opposed to how often are they swatting places and getting in the wrong house? I would say that there are, there, there are institutions that are making cops as a whole look like shit. Absolutely. How many cops are in the United States? How are they? Too many. They're making them look like shit. <laughs> Absolutely. I, well, I mean, honestly wouldn't say too many. I'd say too less. There are we too, have too few cops. I, I feel like... There's too few people policing. And who's policing the police? Less important than policing, there's too little people prosecuting. That's correct, gentlemen. The cops are fucked because it doesn't matter whether or not they bring someone in. They're tied to a judicial system. They're not going to be fucking prosecuted. They're going to be. So, specifically, Bear County? Per person. I mean, how many times? Well, no, Bear County. There's six specific. There's one cop for every six people. No, right now, one cop for every six people. But how many times have we heard in the last two years of a P of a BCSO? Oh, we've heard this from sheriffs, from lieutenants, domestic violence, or for drunk driving or something stupid. So this was brought up from one of our mutual friends when HBC. Because we're not saying shit. Um, it's it's public knowledge. Jeff Enoch. Brought up mm. against one of the cops that were there, his in charge lieutenant, and there's more complaints than there are compliments for this individual, and she's still in charge. It was like, okay, so what do we got to do to fix this? Yeah, why, why is the system so broken that she can do whatever the fuck she wants and still let's? Oh, mess you want to? Okay, so because we've know, talked about VA, but this is. On the same aspect right. of it. So I got a welfare check, right? This this last Wednesday. Welfare tax. Welfare tax on top of it, right? Yeah. You got so, taxed on your welfare check. This somehow is supposed to be this is supposed to make you through that shouldn't be taxed, but we tax it. And then we're gonna tax what you spend it on. Right. Hey so guys, I, it's only a matter of time before they start taxing veteran disability. Yeah. I I yeah. <sighs> So, you know, here's the thing. I got I, I made a comment that was taken the wrong way uh this last swallow? Wednesday. Yeah. Do you spit? Swallow. I thought so. Save um, it. Save it. You gotta put that shit in your belly, bro. It's the protein. It's the protein. Flavor saver. I mean, if it lands in my beard, it's just it just helps it makes it it's all that wet juice Anyways, that just lives there. So uh I got a welfare check. Cops show up to my door. Wanting to know if I'm going to kill myself. And I'm like, what the fuck this shit on? And it turns out that the VA actually has a, uh, uh, what do they call it? Suicide prevention team. Like, are you kidding me? And you called me 20 minutes after, like, I supposedly made a comment. But so, anyway, so, besides so the about, point, about police. You can't get mad so about the that, cop, though. The co- okay, so what I want to say is, the cop that showed up was actually a pretty decent cop, right? I came out my door and was like, "Fuck y'all, I ain't going with you." Like, I ain't yeah, you going. you were just fucking around, right? And and I turned back in and he goes, "Okay, I don't care." And I was like, "Wait, hold up, what?" <laughs> and and like there was a cool little banter there, right? And there the cop the cop that was actually driving the car was like three times my size, could easily like rip my gate down. And like, for me and like this other mutual person we know, but it was what I wanted to say is that was a good cop, right? Yeah. And and it sucks that there are there are bad apples in every organization. I don't care what organization you are a part of, there are bad apples. But and sometimes but, the whole barrel is bad. This is what we were talking about with our friend Eddie before is, yep. when he was on is that they would benefit from extended training. Extended training and do you do you know what else? I, I saw on a recent podcast that they were talking about that I absolutely agreed with. 
That's good. Is jujitsu training. Actually hand -hand learning combat. How locks, to defend myself. Real locks and holes. Yep. Well, and learning how to crawl. Well, well, not because even. Yeah. Here's the thing: is like a person who is a hundred pounds less than you, with the proper training, could lock your ass down, and Absolutely. you're done. And Game you're over. Done, and yeah. you're not going nowhere. And you don't have to default to your weapon. You don't have to default to your taser because they have the ability in close quarters to lock your ass down because they have the proper training. Until you do a chokehold, and then that person dies because you. Okay. If we're going to talk about that, let's first talk about the fact that that wasn't a proper chokehold. Let's touch on it, though. Let, yep. Let, let's talk about the fact that you cannot choke someone out by putting your knee into the back of their neck. Right. That is not a proper chokehold. That's not, that not a choke in any way, shape, or form. No, I'm sorry. A... If my knee or anything is not on your trachea, right. it is not going to choke you out. There were other extenuating circumstances there. Yep. Such as fentanyl. There was, yeah, there was fentanyl. There was other drugs. There were in other the drugs system. available. Also, and man, we're going contentious here. Yeah, are I'm you going saying all, Freeman was I'm on drugs that day? Let's stop propping up pieces of shit to bash on the system. Yep. Well, so what? What I what I really want to say is, it, <laughs> and I said that again. What I really wanted to say was almost this. Okay, it was almost what this cop told me. He goes, "Man, I am. I'm not a veteran." And, and I, I hear what, what you're going through, and I've heard from all the other sources before I even got here what you're going through. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you veterans have to go through the bullshit you go through. And he literally said, this is, <laughs> I couldn't believe this came out of his mouth. He goes, I'm not supposed to talk political shit, but I, I you know, you guys get treated worse than illegals. And it's such a shame that y'all are treated that way. All right, I say, time out. Actually... Time out. Time out. We got external right now. 